This is what happens when you fall asleep with wet hair. It looks insane. Un momento, por favor. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Kitty says good morning. He's walking all over me. <laughs> Heard grungy makeup is back. So I'm going to be using my Meredith Duxbury palette. Um, excuse me, please don't show your booty. Thank you. That's very rude. I'm going to be using the Meredith Duxbury palette to do like a smoky, grungy makeup look. So wish me luck. Very much like Bailey Sarian inspired, just like really smoky. You know, you know, you know the vibe. I have used this maybe like once or twice and I really like it. I'm not the biggest Meredith Duxbury fan. I've like seen her videos pop up on TikTok. Um, but I don't follow her. The only reason I bought this palette was because it had all these colorful shadows. So let's just jump right into it. Also, my husband bought me this really nifty little travel makeup case. And I'll show you the mirror real quick. I'm actually using it to be able to see because I'm using the back camera to film. But, and it has like different light settings. Look at how cute. Look at, isn't that so cool? If you film YouTube videos with your iPhone, or even for TikTok, I will prop it up and then I just prop a mirror behind the phone so I can see that I'm like in frame and know what I'm doing. So that's a little trick. I actually saw the little um, clip in mirrors on TikTok. They're like 25, 30 bucks. So I went on Amazon and I found one for $15. So if you are interested, I'll link it down below. How are you doing today? Um, don't forget to drink some water. Obsessed with the Owala water bottles. I'm not a Stanley girly, I'm an Owala girly. Don't forget to caffeinate yourself either. I don't know how the weather is looking in your city area. Leave a comment down below how it's looking, but San Diego's about to get like a huge rainstorm and we had a little bit of rain last week and so many places of San Diego were flooding. So I'm very scared and hope that everyone stays safe in San Diego. Um, but very disappointed as usual in the city government that has known about this flooding for years and does nothing. Just grateful that we're not, you know, having negative degree weather because that is scary. Up north by the Canadian border, like what? How do you survive up there? Since we're doing a grungy, heavy eyeshadow look, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've been a stan of this since it came out in like 2017. It's like four bucks. I'm doing this tutorial the wrong way like Meredith does. Honestly, I don't see how this would work, but people say that it works. Maybe the warmth of your hands. Oh, it feels so gross on my hands. <laughs> I mixed two foundations. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I'm using my Sephora press powder. I use this little tapered uh, Real Techniques brush just to kind of get into the places where I get really oily. So I just kind of go in right here on my nose, around my nose, right here. And then I use a fluffy brush to just kind of do the rest of my face. I personally prefer just powder, um, blush, bronzer, all that stuff because I'm already so oily that I don't need to doify my face because I'm not even kidding within an hour. My face will be so greasy. So like, I don't see a point in contouring with cream or blush cream, like like all of that stuff. I don't need that because I'm so oily as is. This is the color, oh my God, I can't talk. This is the color pop matte bronzer in Summerland Beach. I'm gonna use the KVD Everlasting Blush. It, the name of this is Fox Glove, but tell me why I was gonna read it, Fox G Love. Like, are you dumb? <laughs> I have a little bit of the ColourPop's X Sailor Moon collab kind of left over on this brush. So, and I am still in 2018 when Doja Cat introduced the blush on the nose. I go a little too blush heavy too. I just take my fluffy brush and just kind of, for the brows, I just use the Morphe little eyebrow brush, brow gel in latte. And I'm definitely gonna do these off camera because I'm gonna be like looking down the whole time. So give me a sec. This lighting is giving me a hard time. My son and I made some homemade bread this morning and it's so good. Mm. I honestly don't think I could ever give up bread. Look at this. Look at this. We're gonna have to work with this, this inconsistent lighting. <laughs> okay, I did decide um, I'm definitely gonna go more of a orangey color and then just kind of work in some black and some brown. So we're just gonna roll with the punches. I'm gonna go in with 
Bloody Mary first. No rhyme or reason, I'm just gonna blend everything out, smoke it out, bottom, top. So let's just start, man. Bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Please ignore my skin. Oh my God, what did I do? Okay, it's a little bit patchy, but I don't know if that's me or what's going on. So let me blend this out. <laughs> the more I blend, the better it was looking. I think it was just my initial application. So I basically just took the brush and literally just blended it all out, bottom, top. It doesn't really matter if it looks messy because that's the whole point of like grungy makeup. Just trust the process. I was like getting in my head right now and I was like, no bitch, just keep going. It'll look fine. <laughs> You know, I have no idea what I'm doing, so. I'm gonna go in with Espresso Martini. That one, and just kind of like deepen the eye look. It doesn't really matter how nice the application is because the whole point of a grungy look is like messy, smoky, and then I just kind of blend it all out. And you can see it's like slowly coming together. I know it looks a little scary. Okay, this is what we have so far. All I did was just blend out slightly just so all the colors like incorporate. Now we're gonna go in with black. I'm gonna use the smallest little brush I have. From what I've noticed, the trick with black eyeshadows, you kind of just have to pack it and then leave it be because if you start blending it out, it kind of looks like, I don't know, the pigment just kind of like goes away. As messy as you'd like or as clean as you'd like, it's all personal preference. I look like a raccoon. <laughs> Take a very small blending brush. I'll put a little bit of black eyeshadow in there. And then I kind of just use this to kind of like blend all the colors together. So this is kind of what it looks like. You could either do a sweeping motion, which is kind of like what I prefer, or you can do like the circle blends, but I prefer sweeping just cause it looks a little bit messier, but you see how the eyeshadow kind of picks up a little bit, but you can go back and blend more black in there. So let me do both sides. I took a little bit more of espresso martini and just kind of like blended it together. That if you wanted to, you can go back and pack a little bit more black just to really define the black eyeshadow because as you go blending it, it kind of gets a little bit washed out. It's kind of weird to explain. And then what I personally like to do at the end is I'll take the color I started with, so that was Bloody Mary. I'll put a little bit on my brush, tap it, and then I just kind of like blend everything together if that makes sense and i like to blend this color out more on the bottom so it kind of brings everything together and i just kind of again very messily just blend i'm gonna add the final touches like lashes and stuff and then we can see the final look really come together and also i'm gonna do my hair because that looks crazy. I popped on some Ardell Foaming Lashes. These are in the number 817. And for the lips, I did the NYX Lip Liner in Sam Beige and the NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap. This lip combo gives me like 90s through and through. This is the final look, very grungy. My hair is kind of doing its own thing. I just put some little clips in it just cause that was the only way that it looked good. But it very much fits the aesthetic of like, 90s grunge also like low-key scene kid but this is the final look i actually really like the way it turned out i literally look like sally from american horror story hotel but honestly it's a vibe in my opinion i love the way it looks please remember that there is no such thing as perfect skin whatever you see on instagram with those beauty gurus like flawless skin that is fake skin is meant to have texture wrinkles, pores. Don't forget that makeup is art and art is subjective. So as long as you're happy with the way your makeup looks and you feel good and confident, that is all that matters. I really hope you enjoyed this very chaotic makeup tutorial. Let me know if there are any kind of makeup looks you want me to do in the comments down below, but I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye.